So let's compare the Celeron M2807 with Celeron Z1900. Both of them are Intel's retail processors. Uh, the one basic difference is M2807 is a dual course and does not support hyper threading. J1900 has two threads for each code. So it is a dual code and four hyper threads, which would bring the hyper thread in itself will bring a performance improvement, say up to 15% or so. Now, but that's not the only reason why G1900 is faster. It has a higher clock frequency at 2 GHz for 7.58 GHz for N2807. And also, its turbo clock frequency is much higher at 2.41 GHz versus 2.16 GHz for Celeron N2807. And that's why when we see the benchmark score, we see the Celeron G1900 is about twice as fast as Celeron 2807. So if it's a performance is your criteria, then the Celeron Z1900 is much faster. And although it has, it takes slightly more power at 10 watts versus Celeron N2807 at 4.3 watts. Uh, the power it will lead to to slightly higher battery consumption and may not be as thin as that quite as the lower power Celeron 2807. But if it, it will be much smoother for peak performance. You can also take the uh, uh, look at the comparison on Intel's search comparison engine for the processors. So we already covered the another thing is that J1900 is higher has higher cache memory as 2 MB versus 1 MB for N2807. That it also leads to uh, higher performance for J1900 and if you believe on Intel it has lower price compared to N2807 so in overall it looks like J1900 is a much better choice unless you want to a uh, much uh, lower power processor at 4.3 watt that's the potentially a good thing about N2807 the max memory size is higher for J1900 other than that uh, you also see that the, the graphics base and the max dynamic clock frequencies are higher for J1900 um, that that's pretty much everything that that the two comparison uh, uh, to process compare unless you are looking for a low power j1900 seems to be better thanks for taking a look